Okay, and this combination, this is one of the other combinations that, uh, uh, that you have to have two of them together. Anytime you use the pole, the anti-lift pole, from this view, from his uh, backswing side, you always have to use the width producer. And again, it's just for safety. So you don't want someone to get a swing that goes way back beyond and then makes a shift out where they hit the pole. If they did, it still isn't going to hurt them, but it, you know, again, we just want to do it for safety. So go ahead and take your setup. What we have is we're going to lower this down like we talked about earlier. And then I've got the early set wall with the, with the flap so they can't take it inside. Go ahead and make a practice backswing here nice and slow. Okay, go ahead and swing right on through. Very good. Okay, go ahead and make a regular swing now. Good. Okay, so as you can see, he didn't hit anything there, and it was really a pretty good golf swing. So these are several of the combinations that, are, that I use all the time. Uh, like I said, it's almost limitless as to what kind of combinations you can make up. But it's really important that the students make lots of practice swings in between. Uh, and then once they do start to hit their shots out, out of the equipment, that you try to get them to swing about half speed until they get the confidence and until they find their way around. So uh, if you have any questions about that, you can always call us at the academy and, uh, and let me know about your combinations that work best for you.